Hi, I'm Penny, and um, this morning I am going to be the person who is welcoming you to Artisan Church. Thank you very much for attending uh, from wherever you may happen to be. Uh, it is really great to have you here. So our, our service today is going to be special in, in a way that, quite frankly, shouldn't be special at all, but nevertheless is. The liturgy today will be conducted entirely by women. Uh, for me, last Sunday was also kind of special. Um, I was ready for church before church started. I know, right? Me? Five minutes after worship starts is usually the earliest I'm ever late. But for the first time in a long time, I wasn't working last Sunday. And I was looking forward to communing and connecting with my spiritual family. I was showered, made up, wearing one of my favorite dresses, had my coffee, had my communion stunt doubles, kombucha and a trisket. I went to the Artisan website, uh, clicked the Zoom link, checked what was trending on Twitter, uh, updated my Facebook status, sent an email, uh, took a selfie because I was just so darn cute. Uh, and I didn't click the link, and I didn't click the link, and I didn't click the link. I couldn't. Here it was, Advent, and I couldn't do it. I, I couldn't do Zoom church. If you've been around me for more than five minutes, you've probably heard about my past, how I was raised in a church that was bereft of any God that I could see. For me, all the activities and fellowships and things we did around worship were far more important than that hour in the pews. That hour in the pews for me was just doing time until I could hit the cookie tray in the annex. Except for Advent. I connected with Advent. It was the only time when I felt any sort of spiritual connecting with anything. Yeah, part of it was because it was the holiday season, whoop de doo you know, Christmas is coming, the, the goose is getting body shamed and all that. But seriously, I love Christmas. I love everything about it. I love the decorating. I love the gifts. I love the food. And most of all, I love the music. But growing up on December Sunday mornings, the song I wanted to hear, what I loved to sing. Veni, veni, Emmanuel. I, I figured this out as I wrote it. I, I loved Advent because we were waiting. Everybody was waiting. The whole world was waiting for someone who promised to come but didn't tell us when. Someone who would ransom captives. And I was a captive. Every minute of every day I was waiting, it was my life, captive in my conservative little town, captive by an abusive, overprotective mother, captive in the wrong body, a captive waiting to be ransomed, waiting to stand up to my mother, to, to get out of the town, waiting to become what I didn't think I would ever be, my authentic self, waiting. How long, oh Lord, how long? And for four Sundays a year, I had company. Last Sunday, I was alone, and I felt it. And opening up a window on my laptop was not going to change things. I was alone, and I had to be. The reason I had Sunday off was not because my work schedule changed. I left my work three weeks before Christmas with no financial relief in sight. We have four times the infection rate in our county than we did back in March and April. Yet I'm supposed to walk into the store and say, may I help you to people who don't even think COVID exists? I can't do that. This wasn't how it was supposed to be. We were supposed to be done by now. We should be done by now, but we aren't. And that's just how it is. And I'm tired of it. Tired of not touching. Tired of masks we've worn so long that have become fashion statements. Tired of living my life around a 15-inch plasma screen. Tired of waiting again. How long, oh Lord, how long? Tired. I didn't click the link because I couldn't. I didn't think I would find what I needed on the other side of the screen. Not, not think, believe. I didn't believe it last week. It wouldn't have been any different for me than sitting in that pew in that church growing up 48 weeks of a year. And I couldn't do that. Maybe I was wrong. We'll see what happens this week when God arranged it so that I was offered the one thing I can never resist. 
an audience. On a day when only women are speaking. A day that six years ago, no one would have ever suspected that I could even be asked. This isn't as much a miracle as it is possibly a divinely inspired nudge. I'm speaking solely for myself. Y'all can find your own connections. I'm just glad that I was reminded that I'm not alone. Gaudi, Gaudi, Emmanuel, Nasiat, Prote, Israel. Welcome to church. <laughs>